I'm going to show you how to conduct an SEO analysis on any web page, including your competitors, to see if it's following SEO best practices. So let's get started. I will be using SEO Minion and Keywords Everywhere for this SEO analysis tutorial, but you can do many of this manually as well. But if you want to use SEO Minion, you would need to subscribe to the Keywords Everywhere Silver Plan or higher for SEO Minion access. So let's just say we want to do an SEO analysis for pages ranking for this keyword, cardio exercises at home. As I scroll, you can see there are some very authoritative domains ranking at the very top. Now that tells me in order to rank for this search for phrase, you would need a lot of backlinks and a very authoritative domain. Now looking at this widget from Keywords Everywhere on the right hand side, we can confirm that the off-page difficulty is quite high and that's 73 out of 100 and the on-page difficulty is not as high, that's 57 out of 100. So it is quite difficult to rank for this search term if you do not have an authoritative domain. So I'm going to open up this page that's ranking at the very top so we have a good baseline as to what Google is preferring to rank in the search engine results pages and then I'm going to pull up a page that's ranking towards the bottom so let's just say we found uh, this page right here by wellandgood.com cardio exercises at home and that is this page now why is this page ranking so low I first like to look at the backlink profile keywords everywhere provides us with a nice snapshot of the backlinks okay so if you hover over this line here just below the title you can see the backlink metrics for this domain so the domain authority is quite good and it's been consistently hovering around the 80 mark since 2020 as you can see but there is a little bit of a span score. The spam score is 3%, but as you can see, the domain has quite a bit of referring domains and total backlinks. Now we can also take a look at the specific backlinks pointing to this page as well. So if you click on show backlinks, you can see those backlinks in this table right here. So you can see there are a total of four backlinks pointing to the page. You can see the URLs and the anchor text including the Moz domain authority of those backlinks as well. So there are only four backlinks, even though the domain authority is quite high, this might be one of the reasons why this particular page is ranking so low. Now let's scroll up towards the top and check out the backlinks for the domains that are ranking higher up above. For example, let's just take, take a look at this one right here. So as you can see, the domain authority is much higher, the spam score is lower, and there are much more referring domains and total backlinks. And if you click on show backlinks, this page has 272 backlinks. So clearly to rank higher for this phrase, you need tons of backlinks. Now, what else can we analyze for this other page here? We can also take a quick look at the search traffic. So you can see the organic traffic for this page and that's 120 per month, but the website as a whole has over a million per month. This page ranks for 73 keywords, but the entire website ranks for nearly 300,000 keywords. So I think this page could have a potential to rank higher. Let's analyze the on-page content. So this is the page. I like to look at the URL to make sure that the target keyword is added there. I also check the page title as well. Now you can click on the SEO Minion extension and click on Analyze On-Page SEO. So this is the title tag. Now as you can see, it's 93 characters. Ideally, it should be around 60 characters or less. So the title tag is quite long. Now one thing I am noticing is that the title tag is different than what is displayed in the search engine results pages. So this is the title tag in Google. Cardio exercises at home. 15 that require no equipment. But if you look here, uh, it's completely different. So it looks like Google is pulling from somewhere else. Now this might be an issue that you come across with as well. So to check to see if there are any issues in terms of the HTML source code, you can click on HTML versus the DOM and SEO Minion will compare the two. So let's click on that. Okay, so SEO Minion pulled the HTML source code, which is right here and the rendered HTML or the DOM, which is right here. And you can see the differences. And there is quite a bit of JavaScript added. And at the very top, you can see that the source HTML for the title is different than what is shown for the DOM. Now, if you click on show all headings, you can see there is quite a bit of discrepancies. So most of the header tags are not in the source HTML, but it is being rendered in the DOM. Now, ideally you want both 
to be the same so that Google doesn't get confused about the content. So this discrepancy might be a reason why this page is not ranking that high. I also like to look at the header tags as well. SEO Minion does pull all of the header tags and displays them in this table. It looks like there are two H1 tags and ideally there should be just one. So that needs to be fixed. And we can also click on show all headings to take a look at all of the headings here. And it looks like there are some irrelevant headings, especially for many of the H3s and H4s. So that might need to be fixed. Now in comparison, let's go to this top ranking page by Very Well Fit, and let's take a look at their on-page SEO. So as you could see, the title is much shorter. It is under 60 characters, and this meta description looks to be pretty relevant, and it is under 150 characters compared to well and good. Let's go back up. So the description is a little longer than 150 characters. So that is something to take note of. And for Very Well Fit, you can see this page only has one H1 tag. And let's take a look at all of their headings. So it looks like their headings are much cleaner and they are listing each cardio exercise and wrapping it around an H2 tag. But for this one, it looks like the headers are a little bit more descriptive and they don't necessarily go straight to the point. They kind of explain why cardio is important, what is a burpee, benefits of burpees, and so on. So let's take a look at the page. So they do have an image here and this is text with some ads and let's continue to scroll. So they don't get straight to the point until you kind of scroll towards the middle of the page. And this is where it starts to list out the different cardio exercises people can do at home. One thing I'm noticing is that there are no additional images aside from the main one at the very top, but they do have a video right here, which can be very helpful for visual learners. Now let's compare that to this page and let's scroll. So immediately they list out all of the cardio exercises people can do at home. And if you continue to scroll, they go into detail about each exercise. And they also have some GIFs and images as well for it looks like every single exercise. Another thing I noticed are the internal links. So they are linking to, you know, the mountain climbers exercise page, push up position page, burpees and so on. And this page doesn't seem to have many internal links, but let's double check. So we're going to click on the SEO Minion extension and you can click on highlight all links or check broken links. I like to click on check broken links because it does provide us with additional information about the links on the page. Okay, so SEO Minion found a total of 112 links and 110 of them were valid and there were two redirects. Now all of the valid links are highlighted in green and let's scroll. So it looks like for the most part, there are no internal links on the actual page content itself. It looks like most of the links are in the main navigation. Now this doesn't follow SEO best practices. You do want internal links and also a couple of external links if it makes sense on the actual body content of the page. Now another thing I like to look at is to see if this page has a high level of EEAT or EAT, which stands for experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. So I like to look at the author section or whether or not it does have an author box or a section. They do link to this author right here. Now let's open up her author page. So she does have a title and also a bio with a couple of links to her social media profiles and a list of other articles she has written. Now let's go to the Very Well Fit page. So let's scroll to the top and let's take a look at the author section. Okay, so this is the author and you can see when it was updated and it was uh, reviewed by this person. So it looks like both are certified personal trainers. So let's open up this author page. Okay, so you can see they put down where she's an expertise on, her education, a couple links to her social profiles with some additional information about her experience and education and so on, including links to all the other articles she has written. So you can see this page does display a higher level of EAT. This was reviewed by individuals who are certified personal trainers and it makes sense to have them write this article around cardio exercises people can do at home while this page is written by an author who seems to be more focused on skincare, hair care, cosmetics, and the beauty industry at large and not so much on more physical fitness. 
I also want to look at the date it was published. So this was published August of 2019 compared to this one where it was updated on September of 2022. So this is a uh, much newer article. So that's how I would do an SEO analysis on any page, including competitors, to see whether or not they are following SEO best practices and see what we could do to help it rank higher in the search engines. So hopefully you got some value out of this. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you want to check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.